howdy there, nerds. I don't know if you've noticed this, but 2.8 is, well, it's now out. It's been released. You can now download it on your store front page. Go check it out if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of things coming. We've already pretty much gone over this from Fae Channel, so I'm just going to do a quick glance real quick. New weapons for our three free units you get at the start of the game. Sharina, Alphonse, and Anna all get new refines for their weapons. Some pretty good, some... it's, it's debatable. Uh, there's new things for the, uh, you know, <laughs> for the Blessed Gardens coming called Grounds. Skill sets are something I've been really, really fascinated with, and I'm definitely game for this. Take it. I want them all. Please. I love it. Um, we'll have to look into that a bit later because, yeah, that's the least of our concerns. But uh, there's also new favorites and a bunch of other stuff, like they've added, of course, the green and blue and red daggers, I'm sure, to the, uh, you know, the separate, you know, the uh, the sort functionality. So, yeah, we, we already knew the colored daggers were coming. There's no surprise there. However, we do need to take a look at their stats, and I will just say, if any of you are expecting any really crazy, you know, obnoxious dancing units, well, I can safely put that a little bit to bed, a little bit, at, I, I guess. Mainly, well, here you all are. Again, special thanks to our data miners, as you can see, Zanuck right there, but also Kaz and Naz for continuing to support this. Go check out the data mines in the link below. Now, I'm just gonna say this real quick. All of these units have very low BST. That's a given. Ranged plus dancer equals weird BST. That's usually how it goes. In fact, I'm fairly sure that several of these characters are tied for the lowest BST, along with performing Art Shigure, who, uh, you know, kind of was the same sort of deal. Now, there is a very big difference between these units, okay? There's a very big difference between last year's and this year's, in that I feel that these units are a little bit more min-maxed than what they're trying to be. Namely, um, Xander, of course, has a lot of defense, which I, I guess makes sense. A lot of attack as well, so it's really nice, and, you know, 38 HP is a lot better. However, unfortunate for him, he does have to kind of deal with, well, his speed being absolutely terrible, and his resistance being absolutely terrible. So, if you are anywhere close to a actual fast mage, keep Xander out of reach of that mage, because it's gonna be dangerous. Or a dragon. He probably won't do well against dragons. Now, Ryoma seems to be more, he, he's more, I guess, balanced to be a bit more attack-oriented in this regard. Namely, his speed is not bad at all, and his attack is decent enough for a throwing star unit. So, huh. As a blue throwing star unit, we're gonna have to see how that works out. Um, especially with his weapon, that of course makes him, I believe, if I recall correctly, just off the top of my head, better at killing armored units, so... Do we have a... Can, can Zelgius be killed by this man right here? That's a really big debate, but uh, I'm not so certain. The only thing, of course, is that he has relatively low res and somewhat slightly lacking defense, which will not help him in that regard. He, he's not going to be able to tank things like Xander, at least physically. He will be able to tank, you know, he will be able to at least kill units, not... Not so much tanking, though. Um, let's move over to the next few characters here. By the way, there are no other units from what we can tell, at least according to the data miners, so... Anything you got out of that, you get basically the same idea. Now, Alincia, not really cool to have that 29 attack. That's gonna be very, very difficult for her. But again, dancers aren't necessarily made to be, you know, attackers. They're meant to be a role in the game where they give their turn up to someone else. Maybe sometimes they will attack when necessary, but usually you're not busting that out. However, Alincia's weapon is a very nice dragon killer effect, so she's primed to at least kill maybe some dragon units, specifically greens and blues, especially blues, um, later on. We'll have to just kind of see how this plays out. She does have good speed and decent enough defense and resistance, but uh, her HP is quite low. I, I mean, I guess I really can't say quite low compared to Makaya's, but, you know, the low she's second lowest in this regard. All in all, it's a decent enough stat spread. She probably could have used a little bit more in attack, but, well, you know, Dancer's life for us. Now, next up, Makaya. Makaya is... Huh, that's, that's, that's gonna be a fascinating one. Remember that her weapon does give her attack plus, so technically she's going to have quite a bit of attack, at least neutral. 
And with that, she also has no speed to really back that up. And her defense is not going to be great. She was, as we assumed rightly, uh, she was going to be a res unit. And she does already have a ploy built into her skill. She already has 34 res. So naturally, this would make her a very nice... Uh, I, I guess she could really take out some Cavalier Mages. You know, deal with some of those uh, if she needs to. But, uh, you know, her tome, of course, does allow her. And she is a tome unit. Remember that. A lot of you were like, why isn't she a throwing star unit? Well... Yeah, um, her tome does affect, again, Cavalier and Ar- I almost said Archer. Armor units, so you are all pretty much good to go with that regard. Uh, what do you guys think of these stats? Are you happy with them? Do tell me in the comments below. I'm actually- I, I think this is a little bit better than, uh, last year where a lot of our dancing units that kind of came from that really kind of fell by the wayside. We- we do- we don't really have necessarily a clear-cut winner like we did last year. Azura, Performing Arts Azura was like the go-to one when it came to that banner. Everyone wanted that, of all things. This time, however, we have characters who are based all around trying to do certain things, kill certain unit types, and we also get our first ever colored dagger units. Hmm. But those are the stats for you nerds. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side. 2.8 is now out. Go enjoy it. See you soon, guys!